Hey, happy friends. Your old pal Bo here. The only man on YouTube with the face for radio and a voice for print. I'm going to come at you again today and talk about something that's kind of peripheral to gaming. and uh, But certainly germane to YouTube. And that is drama. A lot of drama lately among uh, the, my circle of peers. And, uh, and I don't understand why or how. I do believe that it generates a certain amount of buzz, a certain amount of clicks, um, but I don't see how it's, it's certainly not healthy for me, and I don't think it's healthy for the community at large. Uh, sometimes it starts in fun, but it typically ends up with hurt feelings. And uh, yeah, we, we're all adults here, uh, at least all my viewers, and, um, and I understand that we need to have a certain amount of thick skin, and I appreciate that. But uh, going after each other, purely for the sake of going after each other, uh, and especially because guy A doesn't like the way guy B plays his games, and guy B thinks guy A is, I, I don't know, it just it's gone, it goes on and it goes on. And uh, I just want to say that I'm done with, with the drama. It's... Um, all it, all it does is it, it divides the community, and uh, it, it's certainly not good for uh, our mental health. All I want to do is paint and talk about the games that I play and play the games that I play. And I think that's what most of us are, are, are in this for, for the long haul, right? Um, we're here to play a, a game regardless of what that game is. I mean, if you like to play, uh, I don't know, uh, 40K or uh, Warhammer uh, Fantasy Battles or the Warhammer role-playing game, D&D, &D, uh, Stargrave, uh, even Pathfinder, you know, whatever you want to play, fine, cool. I think there are certain, th there's a lot of common ground that we have and things we can all agree upon. Um, things like finding time to get together with our friends to actually play, uh, using technology in lieu of face-to-face uh, -face, um, meetings, uh, what kind of paints and brushes we like to use. Uh, by the way, I'm still using this. Um, this is the Green Stuff World number two. Silver Series S Kalinsky Sable Brush that uh, I did a short review of um, oh, what, a week ago or two weeks ago, and uh, I've been pretty happy with it. It continues to hold a good point. It's got a good belly. It holds uh, detail pretty well. I've been using it to uh, base coat um, all of these uh, sisters and uh, really uh, to, to layer and highlight and to uh, pick out detail. Um, fortunately, these sisters aren't super, super detailed once you get past painting fleur-de-lis. And of course, I was the uh, idiot that went all heads instead of helmets because, um, yeah, it's not realistic in real life. If you're going into battle, you're gonna wear a helmet. But um, since I plan on using these, I mean, if I use them actually in a game at all, it's going to be for my uh, Friday Night GURPS game or any future GURPS game. And um, I think they just look better on the tabletop without the helmet. It's, it gives you a little bit more for your imagination to grab onto, looking at a face, especially with the sisters with their uh, traditional white and gray hair. I, I, I don't know the lore behind that, but I think it's cool as hell. See, so we could be happy uh, in in our in our domain, in our in our world, uh, you know the OSR guys don't like the new school guys, whatever that means. Uh, the five E guys are are mad at the OSR guys. And the OSR guys are mad at the five E guys, and then there's guys that play different games, and it's kind of like the whole Coke versus Pepsi thing. And it's certainly okay to go. Uh, third way, right? Some people like Coke and some people like Pepsi, but there's other guys going here holding on to like the old RC, you know, like, wait a minute, I'm not going to get caught up. And that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. 
you know, I mean, I, I'm still going to do the, the, the live streams when I can with the other guys because it's a, a fun thing to do while I paint. And I don't, you know, I don't do it a lot. This is certainly not my world. If I get in, uh, you know, two hours of painting a week, two hours of gaming a week, and a few YouTube videos in between, both watched and uh, made, then I'm a I'm perfectly happy guy, you know. Um, I am looking at improving my technology. I was looking at a document camera that I think I can repurpose, uh, at least for painting videos. I can uh, clamp it to the desk. It's got that good, uh, that mobile arm. And price is right at right at 100 bones. So probably not this week or next week, but um, I've got some other irons in the fire that I need to spend my discretionary income on. But once I, th I have some more hobby money, I think my next hobby purchase is going to be a document camera that I can use for both my uh, uh, painting videos and my Friday night game. Um, I think that a lot of us kind of get caught up in all the peripherals of gaming and the drama associated with how people like to spend their time is just part of that. You know, would it be, would we want me, holy crap, would we be more productive playing a game or talking about a game? Are we more productive talking about paints or putting paint on plastic? Are we more productive bitching about this brand of paint or this kind of pot or that kind of brush? You know, some of my favorite content creators, especially the ones that are monetized, they don't spend time talking about the drama and they don't spend time talking about this or that. They just get out and do it, right? They're not talking about what game that that guy should be playing because that's a trash game. That's a garbage game. That's a common game. No, don't play that game. Don't play that version of Traveler. That's 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 uh, that's peasant Traveler. We all know that GURPS Traveler is the best Traveler. And I will be doing some more reviews. I did find some more books on Flea Bay that are unfortunately they're out of print. But uh, if you beat the bushes, you can find a lot of them available on um, different websites in PDF format. Since they're all books that are out of print, I certainly don't feel bad about anybody that goes and look goes and looking for them. Things like GURPS Nobles. Uh, pardon me, GURPS Traveler Nobles. It's a book I was interested in, but used copies of it are going for like 60 bucks. Just because the book is old and just because the book is out of print doesn't necessarily make it particularly valuable. You know, things are only valuable if somebody else is willing to pay that money. And I don't know who is willing to pay for $60 for a soft cover book that you can find the PDF for literally for free. I mean, 30 bucks I would pay, but not 60. Um, so, but I did find a few, few really interesting uh, books. There's a, a lot of wealth out there for source material. Uh, and I certainly won't use all of it because although I'm using a lot of the Traveler format in my game, I, I'm not using a whole lot of the Traveler lore um, in my game. But there is a wealth of it out there. Uh, I may look for some of the old traveler books to mine. Might be a little bit easier than uh, going after the straight GURPS traveler. Though the, if you watched my previous GURPS traveler videos, you know there is a divergence in the timeline. But again, since I'm using my own timeline and my own galaxy. There you go. Another tape base coated um, trying to get that two thin coats down these um, P3 paints do thin very well with just a bit of water just touch the brush and then touch the little tiny paint pool about the size of a split pea on my wet palette just the one color for right now 
I kind of bit off more than I can chew with these um, sisters. But since I did a good job of um, Zenithal highlighting and um, you know, slap chop prep with the, the thin coats, I'm really trying to pick up that white um, dry brush and gray uh, Zenithal before I add my two or three or four thin coats of paint. I will start out like a glaze, sort of put the paint down where I want. And then I can go darker inside the cape and um, inside the creases. I am looking for proxy sisters. If anybody knows of any of that uh, companies that do good, like 3D printed or even plastic uh, proxies, uh, leave me a comment about that, please. I found some really good proxies online, preferably ones that I can buy printed and not STLs. I'm... Uh, still kind of uh, I don't have a 3d printer yet and the way that my life has been is going right now I don't know if I'll ever have the time to um, set up a 3d printer to put in the ventilation mostly I've got a place in the back here in the back of this room in the basement where the the vent I could probably get the vent deck up with uh, below the dryer vent and uh, that might work I don't know I don't know if I could mix I don't think that the resin like any resin pieces actually come up. I think it's just fumes. And it's probably not that bad in a room this big anyway. But um, I, I don't want to... Oops. Dead soldier. I don't want to take the chances. Um, yeah, I just dropped this gal. She's the one. She's got the heavy bolter. I'm part of their heavy weapon squad. But um, yeah, any decent sisters proxies. Again, since I'm not really playing and certainly not playing in any tournaments um, battle sisters in, in big flowing capes and cloaks and tabards and uh you know, chain swords and power swords and uh, bolt pistols and meltas lots and lots of meltas um would be just fine by me all right so i've rambled a bit past the rambling um all this hate's just going to burn us up. And I, who really cares, right? The second rule of hobbying is your hobby, your way. So play what you like. Play with people that you like. Do the things that you like. Paint the minis that you like. Um, in the way that you like them. You know, if you're not traditional, if you want, if you want yellow skinned orcs or blue skinned orcs, or if you want, um, I don't know, female space marines or where I don't care. So just do you. And uh, if, if you know, find people that you like. And honestly, don't play people with people that you don't, right? If that person doesn't like what you're playing or how you're playing it, then, then let that person play their game over there and you play your game over here. All right. That's just kind of something I want to get off my chest for a while. Um especially in light of the last two days. Uh, some people that I do consider among my friends were involved with some um, YouTube drama. Names were called. Shots were fired. No challenges were made. Nobody called out pistols at dawn. Nobody wanted to meet each other on the mats with their uh, MMA gloves on. But... If it would help end the drama, I'd be all for it. You know, you two guys want to go go out on the mats and throw down for two or three five minute rounds. That's fine by me. Anyway, um, so shit on my table. <sighs> Battle sisters and inquisitors. I'm finally getting most of the capes the way I want them, and then I'll start in with the armor and the weapons. And then the hair, then the faces. So this is pretty ambitious for me. Um, I think the hardest one I've got so far to catch on the base coating is the uh, Bolter sister on the top hatch of the Rhino. The Rhino is looking pretty good. Um, this is the, the 30K Rhino with all of the 
sister's accoutrement. So it's set up sister style. I've got three of these, I think. I've got, yeah, but one of them I've already almost made with the Demos pattern, and I'm not going to take it back apart again. It was kind of a pain in the butt to get some of the uh, sisters upgrades. And then these, the doors were 3D printed. I got those on Shapeways or whatever that website's called. They were a little bit expensive, but that's the round hatch with the fleur de lis on it. It's kind of, kind of got more of a, like almost a forge world feel to it, the way it's set up. I mean, it's plastic, not resin, but. Um, and then I did, I said, I've got the sisters. It's hard to base coat in her um, way down inside there where really probably no one is ever going to see. But um, I'm just uh, anal retentive enough and OCD enough to want to get it done. I'll probably have to spray a little bit more primer underneath her. Um, I see where I almost missed a spot. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we're moving forward with our, you know, we're actually painting and playing and gaming and not just talking about gaming, which I think uh, ends up causing a lot of hate and discontent. The, um, the Stargrave uh, scavengers are coming along too. I've got about six or eight of those built. Um, there's five unique bodies on the spruce, so I probably won't build too many of those right away. At least not in this paint scheme. I'll probably save some more for NPCs or PCs. And I'll paint them in a different scheme so they don't look quite like they're lion dancing. All right. Um, I bid you peace. I really do bid you well. Uh, not interested in having uh, enemies on YouTube. It's stupid. I'm a grown ass man and I got better things to do with my time. So, um, play your games, paint your minis, and I will talk to you later. Peace.